Hey all Turtle here, coming at you with a, another Champion's Path opening. Today we have not one, but two more ETBs. These are for our patron, Tyler. Tyler, thank you so much for giving me the privilege of opening these on your behalf. Tyler picked both of these up at the sweet price of $40 per box. So here we go. And actually one thing I wanna say is we got a whole mess of Hidden Fates Tins. So adding that to the break menu, we're going to do a special for at least the month of October. Maybe we can expand that into November. We'll see how it goes. But well, we're going to be doing $15 tin breaks. So pretty good price points. And for Champions Path, uh, we do have, ooh, we have various things. All right, so let's check the promo. Um, you know, actually, we'll crack this out of here. But from here, the centering, at least on the front, looks pretty good side to side. Top to bottom, let's take a look. But yeah, we're offering, all, or all the products we have, we're offering at the rate of $4 per pack for breaks. So if you think you're interested, check the link down below for the Patreon page. And I feel like we have a pretty well-centered promo card. Very nice. That's a good way to start this. I feel like it's been, I don't know, maybe 70, 30? As far as like 70% of them seem like they're off center. You know, not enough for like an OC kind of thing, but enough to degrade to a nine. So that's a good start. We got our 10 packs here. Let's begin into our first pack. So still searching for our first Charizard on the channel. Hoping we can find one for Tyler. Starting off with just a turf field and a Marnie. We don't need to slow roll these. We got 20 packs to open. We're already what, two minutes into the video? Let's do, it. oh boy. All right, so we got the variant of, yeah, these packs just disintegrate into your, in your hand as you're opening them. And potentially those are the ones with the more centering issues. Once we get our first hit, we'll take a look at how that looks. We got an Altaria. Try to keep these piles somewhat under control. But Champion's Path has been a pretty wild ride. I um, feel like it's super, obviously it's just, you know, Charizard a bust, bust it feels like. Ooh, actually this is the first time I've seen this Gardevoir full art. But all right, here we go. Let's take a look at how the centering is. Ooh, I like that. Um, I feel like it's pretty good. This bottom feels like a little bit thicker than the top, but I feel like it's not too egregious. Uh, so this could be a candidate for PSA, but I did see an email from PSA today stating that they will not be doing their post or suspending their economy tier, which is the, that's that like $9 bulk tier, I believe. Wait, economy, wait, is economy the $20 tier? But anyway, uh, so they're kind of pumping the brakes on Getting some missions in. Luckily, we do have a whole mess of cards. I think I might have maybe upwards of like five, six hundred, up to somewhere between five and eight hundred cards already at PSA. Uh, but it's going to be a while before we get those back. I really like these energy, and um, yeah, a lot of good fire decks out right now. So it's a good hit. All right, not too bad of a start for this break. And best of luck to everyone that's gonna go out on Friday looking for some of those new products. Although they're already, Walmart is so reliable about being unreliable about when they will have stock in their shelves, which means it's like, hey, you wanna hit them at Walmart? Um, check, I don't know, Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday? Could be any one of those days where that person is stocking that shelf. Got a, was it Magnolia, right? Magnolia and a Sharpedo. So far we just got one hit. Definitely gonna need to step it up. We got our, my uh, redemption stack of packs. And I did ask, I'll, I'll go forward, I'll ask everyone, all right, like if we if we got some bad pull rates, uh, I could send you uh, one or two, depending on how bad it is, a couple, one or two sealed packs, or I could just open them on the video. Tyler said, just crack them there. That's just, we'll, we'll get the redemption live, so. So far we got one hit uh, plus a reverse. Looking for, I don't know, two or three. 
All right, there we go. Got a will. This is an interesting card. Um, I wasn't expecting. I imagine IRL like these guys are going for not too much, but apparently on on the online game they're going for a good number of packs. This thing does have some good viability. Pretty straightforward. Discard a bunch of energy, draw it up, and then ocean waves up to 360. I myself am not a big fan of flipping coins, but uh, you do have that one stadium to help out. And this one's pretty well centered too. Is there any kind of no? I don't see any edge edgeware. So we'll put this in a penny sleeve. All right. So that's hit number two. Two packs remaining. Let's get raise one more. Still looking for our first Zard. Or who isn't looking for their X Zard? Uh, <laughs> we got our first secret rare, but it's just a can. Ah, uh, this card does. Alright, heal 80 damage from any Pokemon that has at least one psychic energy. If you healed any, did discard. What is the point of this? This sounds so bad of a card. Um. What was a hyper potion? What is that like two energy? I guess it, it's like in between, but only for psychic Pokemon. Suspicious food tin. All right, we got it for a secret rare. I feel like the centering is pretty good, but uh, not the secret rare we're looking for. But hey, we're gonna call this a pre a uh, better average ETB than we've been opening so far. So glad right, we got something for you, Tyler. Well, we got one more ETB to really strike something good. And wrapping up with just a Victini into a Marnie. So let's get into ETB number two. Ugh. But uh, yeah, this set has been really fun to open. Um, ironically, it's been, as far as like pre-orders getting in, I've gotten more ETBs than anything else. Uh, which has worked out for the Patreon breaks because that's obviously the most popular. Uh, as far as like breaking stuff for myself, I haven't done anything for myself yet. I'm waiting for more of those pin collections to come in, uh, just because, yeah, I know the the breaks, this is just going to be the main attraction. So I want to make sure we have enough for all of our patrons. Alright, 10 more packs, one more promo. Alright, let's see, how does it look? No, I don't see any kind of edgeware, very good sign. I feel like it's very disheartening when you open up a promo and it's damaged, you know. Um, where are my scissors? Right, here we go. And oh, one thing I want to mention about the Hidden Fates tins. So those promos, they're not, you know, too valuable, but they did improve their packaging where you don't have to really deal with the prongs of death anymore. Ooh, another well-centered one. These are all from like the same vendor. So Tyler, you got some, uh, I think very promising promos. Now we just need, we need the, um, let's see, we want the VMAX or the Chinese. <laughs> Does it even make sense to even like, hey, I want specifically this one. Starting off with the Alcrame right off the bat. I'm not sure this is good can to be graded, but very well centered. Maybe not perfect left to right, but I feel like it's pretty darn good. Put this in here for now. All right, so what do we got so far? Three, four hits. But I think these promos, uh, and if, I, I assume if you buy it like off TCG Play, you'll probably get like a near mint off center one. But those are going for, it looks like about 20 right now. So when you think about it, all right, so this ETB break costs 40. The promo, as as of right now, it seems like it's going for 20. So yeah, I feel like this is a great up, great deal. Um, so if you are interested in a break, check out the Patreon page. I right, just gotta keep these piles somewhat organized. All right, these packs are, nope. Just as I was about to say, I feel like they're opening a little bit better. Oh my gosh, come on. Just 
Jeez. <laughs> like stuck to my finger. All right. Get it under control. A lot of roly colies into a scrafty. Hmm, I'm trying to think, what is like the, the the least appealing secret slash hyper rare? <laughs> is it this can of food? Is it the Rainbow Dreadnaw? I feel like it's definitely not the Gardevoir. The Rainbow Rare Hop, not definitely not too exciting, but um, I, think I like the Hop art at least. What is that, like a Kabu? Probably not the Kabu. Alright, things have really slowed down here. What do we got? Four packs remaining, only one hit. All right, we got the. We might be tapping into that redemption stack for the first time. All right, Cursola. Ooh, on stream last night we were facing. Um, we we're up against a Cursola, and I think they had the Arcazolt or whatever that other fossil Pokemon is. That can do another three. This guy, whenever you put a energy from your hand onto a Pokemon, put three damage cards. This guy does need to be in the active. And um, yeah, for if you're using Welder, that could do quite a bit. I keep hitting my tripod. So, and let's take a look at the centering. This one I do feel like is a little bit pushed down. So we'll just grab a ETB sleeve for you. We got our second hit. And here is number three with a Grappalock. Pretty cool. Uh, once again, well centered. So, I don't know, it, it feels almost random where the all the cards are either significantly off, very consistently off, or consistently on track. So I guess it's, I guess that makes sense for print ways from different places. All right. Winding down for this opening looks like we got just one more pack Once again T thank you or Tyler <laughs> Tyler thank you so much for giving me the opportunity and pleasure of openings for you And just, <laughs> reverse pokeball sure All right, so what was that uh, still three? Um, so was that roughly every third? I will grab one of these I don't know, we got a secret, but oh, that's disappointing, that secret. Alright, Redemption, and is a no-go. Alright guys, thanks for watching. We did get a secret rare, a full art Gardevoir, which I think looks great, and a Cursola. The promos look really well centered though, so that might be the highlight here. Even though we did get a secret rare. These both look pretty good. Tyler, thank you so much for the, um, yeah, for letting me do this for you. And uh, yeah, as always, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. It helps the channel grow. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.